Hey, I'm Keith Snow. Welcome to another episode of Harvest Eating. Today we're going to do a really great linguine with bacon and green beans. And not just any green beans. These are beans that I canned myself this past summer. The date on the top says 610, so that was June of 010. Really great, fresh, local green beans. That's what we're going to use in this dish, along with a few other ingredients. But over here in this pan, you'll see I've got some bacon, and it's rendered out. And what that means is I've cooked it, and it's, uh, it's let its grease out, and it's cooked down and starting to get crispy. If we were in Italy, they would be using pancetta. But in the United States, we're using some bacon. Over here, I've got some garlic cloves. And these have just been minced up nice and fine. Now I'm going to go right into the pan with the garlic cloves. OK, now that we've stirred through the garlic, we're going to start putting in other ingredients. The first is going to be some creme fraiche. Check out the website for a recipe. It's basically a, um, a sour cream. Now I'm going to throw my green beans right into the pot. And what I want to do is strain out uh, all the water that they were canned with. So we'll just dump about a cup and a half of beans in here. So now while that's um, heating through, what I want to do is add some of my northern Italian seasoning. And this has a lot of different things in there, but one of the key ingredients is rosemary. And that's going to bring a great taste with that bacon. Now that those beans have warmed up and things are sizzling pretty good, we're going to deglaze the pan with a little dry white wine. So we'll let that reduce out. So now what we do is we add our pre-cooked linguine. We're going to add some kosher salt. Freshly cracked black pepper. And a good bit of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And this is cheese that comes from some great cheese makers in Wisconsin. And now we're going to switch to our tongs. You can see this is a one pot dish, one pan dish, I should say. All right, our pasta has come up to temperature, and we are ready to plate the dish. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat, make a little room here. Here is our nice serving bowl. And you can smell all those herbs and that white wine coming off of there. It's beautiful. So now, just take the whole pan, and let's give a nice serving. All right, the last step is a little garnish with some of our Parmesan cheese on top. And there is a very unique pasta dish that you can make in the winter using green beans that you can from the summer. This is beautiful. Give this recipe a try today.